Okay, welcome to our next in the line of interviews with JRP students. This is Eduardo Casella, 17 of Lowell, Massachusetts. Hi, Eduardo, welcome to the set today. Uh, thanks for having me, it's a pleasure. I'm glad you were able to come in this Saturday evening to film with us here at Boston on Congress Street. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to know a little bit about your family background, uh, where you grew up, and uh, what your uh, plans are after high school. Well, I was originally born in uh, Brazil, and I came here with my family when I was about four years old. Uh, I've been living in Lowell since. Uh, right now I'm in Lowell High School. I'm a senior. And um, after high school, I plan on pursuing acting and film. Uh, right now, I'm applying to a bunch of different film colleges. Uh, right now, my number one choice is uh, New York Film Academy. Excellent. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about um, how many uh, brothers and sisters you have, or your parents? Yeah, I have a, one brother, uh, Leo. He also does acting here, John Robert Powers, and is a, a thriving actor. <laughs> My next question for you, Mr. Casella, is well, tell us a little bit about um, your experiences here at JRP and some of the teachers and students you have met. Oh, John Robert Powers is, is an amazing school. Uh, the teachers here equally is great. Uh, I remember my first day, came here to John Robert Powers, and um, I was with Sean. He was teaching a TV commercial, and um, I remember I was just like really shy. Um, it was unbelievable. I mean, even though I've always been performing my entire life, uh, it was just a completely different element to me, and I felt like I was welcome as soon as I came in. And then um, after that, I started. Uh, I jumped right into as many acting classes as I could. I started taking uh, film techniques with uh, Cheryl Powell. Uh, I feel like that class is where re what really broke me out of my shell and uh, really let me uh, become an actor. I started taking classes with David Latender. Uh, took uh, television commercial classes, uh, voice and diction, uh, private singing lessons, and even acting workshops with him on the side. Um, He's been like a mentor to me. He's helped me far along the way. I've got to grow not only as an actor, but also as a person. Uh, he's really been helping me along the way. Um, uh, other teachers like uh, Ed Crane, he really uh, helped me dive right in with the basics of acting and uh, get, get my structure settled before I started moving on to uh, bigger and better things. Uh, J uh, James Pettibone, uh, an advanced acting classes that I've been taking with him are amazing. and. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, it sounds great, Darrell. It sounds like you've had a great experience here. What do you, would you say, um, in the other interviews I did, I haven't really asked about what's the environment like here with, uh, with the other students? Like, how, how, what are your experiences like with making friends and learning and, and collaborating with the other students here at John Robert Powers? Oh, the other students who come here are great. We're like one big happy family. I mean, not only here at John Robert Powers and uh, in the classes themselves where we get to all learn together, I mean, even after classes and like outside of class and we get to hang out and I mean, th my best friends are here. I mean, th these are the people that I spend most of my time with. Now, do you feel that you've actually, you know, grown, uh, the, the students here actually grow together and there's a real collaborative feeling from John Robert Powers and that the teachers and that the uh, staff here really care about your future as an actor and really help you along the way? Oh, absolutely. The students here and the the uh, staff and teachers here, we're all one big happy family almost. It's like uh, everybody knows everybody and everybody cares about you. I mean, the staff, they go out of their way completely uh, to benefit you in any way that they can and help you with their expertise and all the experiences that they've had in the industry and uh, all the students get to benefit from that together. Excellent. Now, uh, with, with this whole interview process, we're trying to give uh, John Robert Power students and future students here an idea of what goes into classes and what's going on around here. So as these interviews go on, we're going to try and do more with students here and get a little more, bit more behind the scenes. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your experiences? I, I was told that your brother went to IPOP and that you also experienced it, but you, did, you experienced it from kind of behind the scenes and you could kind of take like a, you know, a, a from behind approach to it, almost an objective approach as opposed to students that have actually been to IPOP. What's your opinion on it? Well, I definitely think that uh, the international presentation of performers is a great experience for anybody, even me who wasn't actually performing in it. I thought it was amazing. I mean, my brother definitely grew as a person. Uh, he came out of there a completely different person that he went in there. Um, he's uh, been completely changed. Um, and from behind the scenes, I got to see everybody who's from taking classes and everything who started off in his group. I mean, they all 
grew as people too that I've seen. It's not only uh, a great opportunity to um, meet members of the industry and experts and stuff like that, but they also uh, grow and I mean, they mature in a way too. Excellent. Sounds like you had a great experience. Yeah, it was amazing. Must have been fun to be in LA too. Yeah, it's great weather. Yeah. Obviously not like New England. Yeah. Um, my next question is that for you, Eduardo, uh, do you um, feel that you're growing as well and you're acting and that, you know, just tell us a little bit more about uh, some projects that you are working on or things you've done or your future. Yeah, ever since I started here at John Robert Powers about a year and a half ago, um, I've been uh, moving on with other things too. I mean, I started um, directing and stuff like that, helping out behind the scenes in uh, um, independent films and working as an extra in several movies and um, writing, definitely doing a lot of writing. I have a, about six projects right now that I have on the mm -hmm. writing board and uh, sometime next month, uh, hopefully, I'll be starting my actual first project and I'm really excited to, to be getting my hands dirty as I like to say. <laughs> I know what that's like as a director and an actor myself. I know how yeah. it is to get dirty, deep dirty down in the directing yeah. and acting. Uh, so, t any specific projects you're working on at the moment that you'd like to tell us about? Maybe your thesis project or uh, any other films? Well, right now I'm applying to New York Film Academy and um, I'm going to be sending in a, a thesis film for my application. And uh, right now I'm working with uh, one of the coaches here, David Latender, uh, and some of the other students here in the school as actors and crew and all that stuff to be uh, creating this film so uh, I can put all my experience and everything out on the table and uh, just present what I have learned here at John Robert Powers. Also I've been working a lot with uh, the independent film here in the area, Indiana James, with the independent production company, TNT Limited Productions. I've uh, been working a lot, got to really get to know the director, Thomas Pimentel, he's a great guy. Everybody on the crew, all the actors are amazing people, I mean, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Hope, hopefully it'll be done soon. I can't wait. I've uh, been working on it for about a year now, so uh, it's it's been going on for about six years, but I've been glad to be a part of it as much as I can. So, yeah. Sounds Everybody's passion that's working there has been put into this movie, and it's, it's, it's really beautiful. Yeah, I think it's good that, you know, a lot of students should take the opportunity to do things like extra work in, in non-paying gigs or small roles to get experience, because I think personally as a coach myself that um, experience is the number one thing to get you more work and you know having that rhino skin as I said in other interviews having a tough skin that's part of being an actor if you don't have it you might as well do something else oh absolutely I mean experience is the number one thing when you're starting off I mean classes are the most important thing taking part in, uh, in as many films in the area that you can even if they're student films for a local college or anything like that even if it's getting together in your basement at four in the morning and making a spoof of just all the movies that you can think of I mean it's, it's great stuff I mean it, it really helps you along the way and it's a great experience that'll That'll be essential when you're actually in the industry and working to um, just make a living you doing this that we're doing now for fun. Great. Uh, my last question for you is, do you have any parting words or philosophies or, you know, kind of where you see yourself in the next few years for other students here at John Robert Powers? Well, to answer the first part of your question, um, well, I know you all heard it a million times, you'll hear it a million more, but, I mean, if your dream is to become an actor, director, film writer, uh, producer, anything, I mean, follow it. I mean, it's amazing to be able to do something that you love and have fun and be getting paid for it in the end there's no greater feeling in the world uh i see myself in the future um probably in the next five years probably still in college plan on going for directing uh maybe do some produ uh, production and stuff like that um but definitely uh see myself in the future either starting my own production company or working on a, a, a big production company um either one in the area or um, doing one in Los Angeles or working in New York or wherever people might need me, you know. Like Superman, you'll go where they need you. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm here to help. <laughs> Pretty glad you're here to help. Uh, final, final question, Eduardo. I just want to say, will you continue to act even if you get into production? Oh, definitely. I mean, from what I've seen, uh, directors that uh, get in front of the camera, I mean, they always have much more fun and I mean, get even better perspective on directing and everything in front of the cameras as well as behind.